Well, up in Adam, gang, we're less than a week away from Christmas. Did you make it down to the post office in time to make sure everything's going to be there on time and all of these these other things that we have to worry about at this time of, uh, of year? And if you're a procrastinator like me, it's like, yikes, uh, how can it be that we are less than a week until Christmas? Now, Nancy Cahalan is with us to talk about uh, one of the scams that is out there. Listen, I Nancy, thanks for being with us. I had no idea you're going to talk to us about uh, counterfeit postage stamps that are out this holiday season. It's like, what? Oh, what are the, what'll come out next? I know. Can you believe it? I mean, I wouldn't mess with the Postmaster General. Uh, he's like right up there with the FBI. So uh, these scammers are getting bolder and more creative every day. And we've heard from the U.S. Postal Service that the sale of counterfeit stamps has escalated. So I didn't even know there was such a thing. And now I'm hearing it's escalated. <laughs> but the USPS is fighting back. And this is the part, this is really something consumers have to be aware of. Um, with new changes to the domestic man, uh, mail manual, items mailed with counterfeit postage will be considered abandoned and are subject to being opened and disposed of at the Postal Service's discretion. So this means that, hey, you, you know, it's not like if you use a counterfeit stamp, it's going to get returned to you with no postage. It may never get anywhere, You may, and you may not know. So you really need to be careful. Watch out for these counterfeit postage stamps um, during the holiday season and the rest of the year as well. Um, people are going online. You know, they're, uh, the reason it's really on topic now is that, you know, you get all these Christmas cards to yeah. send, and everybody wants to go online to buy everything. So you go online to get some um, postage stamps, and you might see that there's like a deal, like there, you know, you buy in bulk and and you get twenty percent, fifty percent off. Um, does that sound too good to be true to you? <laughs> yeah, it does to me. Sure so I, I'm not. Yeah. So I, so I would be <laughs> hesitant to do that. But you know, some people just can't pass up a bargain. So um, the scammers are taking advantage of people that are in a hurry um, to buy them and. Um, Scam Tracker has received an increase in reports about these. Uh, so, you know, it's it's really um, mind blowing. But here's how it works. So you you're, you've got your cards addressed and ready to mail. Oh, I have no postage stamps. So what do you do? Can I buy stamps online? You do a quick Google search. You find a link that advertises a deep discount. What a steal! So, however, <laughs> the, the the website is fake, and so are the stamps. So, oh, um, <laughs> so th here's the thing. Sometimes they're just after your personal information, like your credit card information, um, and you and you never get stamps. But other times you do get stamps, and the ones that they counterfeit the most often are the flag ones. So, um, you know, yeah. the, the flag forever stamps. Yeah. So watch out for that. Uh, they might look a little different, but, you know, they have a lot of different styles of stamps out there. So, uh, it, you know, it would be really hard to tell, I would think, unless they were really – uh, look like uh, stickers <laughs> right, <laughs> rather right. than stamps. I'm, so I'm looking uh, at because I have I have to mail some things out today. I'm looking at my stamps right now. I feel like I should be texting my wife. Where did we get these stamps? Did you wait? Yeah. Did you get these at some discount? website or something are these the real deal <laughs> yeah so you know the, here's the thing there are some retailers that have permission to sell stamps it's really convenient you're in the grocery store you're you right. know a, a convenience store cbs walgreens and you get a book of stamps it's so convenient um so you're kind of getting used to the idea that you can buy stamps anywhere well that's not the case um the the uh, post office actually their their website will tell you where you know who's got permission to be selling stamps and um, it's mostly the big box stores, the grocery stores, um, the convenience stores, drug stores. Um, those are the places. It, these online things, um, I would be very uh, skeptical. So you you need to check it out. Make sure that it's for real that they have. Um, the permission to be selling stamps, um, is the website secure? So, you know, we talk about that S and the HTTPS. Look for that S and that little closed padlock to say that, you know, you can 
um, make a purchase there safely and they won't get your information. Um, and be very wary of ads on social media. So on social media, you know, there's the scammers have access to advertise there just like any other business. So um, they have all those same tools. So when you're on social media and you see, oh, here's a deal for stamps. So watch out for this discount pricing. Also, watch out for spelling and grammar issues. Sometimes these scammers aren't native to this country, and they, they mm -hmm. the language is something that they have some trouble with. So if the price is too good to be true, it's probably not true. Think twice, three times, maybe four, before you uh, go online and, and purchase stamps this way. You can purchase from the post office online. Um, it's right. the same site that we go to to order our um, COVID tests. You know, they have their they have a lot of services online. So uh, I would go direct to the post office or pick them up at the grocery store. Um, don't uh, yeah. get involved in any of these schemes. That is one of the things that is funny because clearly these scams work, or people wouldn't keep running them. There must be somebody who sadly is out there who is falling for them. But this is one where. Exactly. You can go directly to the source. And it does go in with so many of the other scams. Go directly to the source. Make sure that it isn't some sort of a copycat or look alike uh you know, website, but that it is it is the real uh website. And yeah, just get them through the, the post office. I'm thinking too, this must be this must be like a federal crime. This must really bring down that the heat on you. Oh, I can't imagine um, if they caught these counterfeiters, what would happen to them. You don't mess with the uh, U.S. Postal <laughs> Inspector. Right. That, you, you don't. I mean, th that's like right up there. It might be one step beyond the FBI. You just don't mess with the U.S. Postal Inspector. That is um, very serious. Um, and so on that vein, um, yeah, we love to get uh, your reports on Scam Tracker, and so if you come across something like this, let us know so we can warn other people. But report the counterfeit stamps and sellers to the United States Postal Inspector, and I have his email address. Mm -hmm. It's reporting at USPIS dot gov. So uh, that is what you want to do. We want to get these people behind bars. Very good. Nancy Cahalen is the president and CEO of the Better Business Bureau serving central and western Massachusetts and northeastern Connecticut. Nancy, if people want to to follow you, because you'll you'll post our conversations, you'll post a lot of information about scams that are out there. What's the best way social media wise for people to follow what you do? Well, I think the best way is I send you to our website, bbb.org, and then there are links to all our social media there. So that will take you, if you if you like Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, um, X, formerly Twitter, uh, so, <laughs> uh, so if you, if whatever your preference is, we ha have a link right there. Um, and YouTube, we have a lot of uh, videos and um uh, things available as well. So um, there's a lot of information available, and um, you can also subscribe to our newsletter on the website. So uh, that comes out once a month, and it and it will have information like this in it. It's really mind blowing. I come across this stuff, and I'm like, oh my goodness. There's no shortage, Hank, of, yeah. of scams to uh, talk about. Absolutely. Nancy, Ben, and I are off next Tuesday, so we'll talk again. It'll be the new year, so Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, and thank you so much for keeping us safe over this past year. Well, it's my pleasure, and I hope you two have a wonderful holiday as well. Very good. Nancy Cahalen, President and CEO, Better Business Bureau, serving Central and Western Mass and Northeastern Connecticut. Follow on on social media. Check out BBB.org. Use all the resources, particularly over these last few weeks that she has given us. This is a prime time these months for scammers. So make sure that you're that, that, that you're uh, just keeping up to date on, on everything crazy that's going on out there. 